Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tableau Tip Top. In the uh, section uh, of the conditional formatting today, I want to bring the um, formatting Tableau visualization at the advanced level. Right? Um, so this is the, um, the next step of the previous one. If, uh, if, if I uh, recall for you to what I have done before, uh, which is um, which is um, uh, in the Tableau, you can uh, conditional format. Uh, you know, you can change the font, um, the size, um, the bonus, um, italics. You know, of the word uh, depend. Uh, you know, it up to the uh, your 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 formula in order to bring the format into the view. Right. So today. I have the uh, section, you know, I still remain the, uh, the format from the previous one for the uh, column, uh, column uh, margin and margin ratio, right? Here you can see the wording, you know, in the different format uh, in the one column, right? It, it depends on your, uh, you know, um, uh, it, it up to the, uh, you know, with a negative uh, number, negative profit, it will be in the boat in the orange color and then the, um, the, the, another one with a positive uh, margin in the uh, normal um, font and normal style and uh, you know in the black color right so today um <clears throat> today i print to you uh, on a different different type of the format right you look into the revenue column here right you can see actually i put the uh, two light of the word it one is a revenues and then the uh, percentage uh, growth versus with the previous year and then if you um, if the uh, growth uh, valued in the positive so you see the arrow in the green color here but if the growth in the negative and you can see the arrow in the red color and going down here right? uh, another one I want to bring into uh, the session today is, you can see is I put the you know the um, small chart here uh, sparkling uh, with the uh, minimum um, minimum number I just to highlight for you the minimum uh, sales in, in the in the 12 months the minimum sale and the maximum sale you know uh, for, for each of, of the category, subcategory here okay so let's walk through let's walk through together right. so again it um, let's go to the uh, the column revenue and how to do that so I will start from fresh here so first of all it um, let's bring uh, the subcategory in here right? and put the uh, entire view um, uh, and then uh, in uh, in the um, uh, I want to create a three columns here so just uh, make the, just make the dummy column here so I use mint zero so it's the first one and just this control and drag and drop so I create another two right? so I will first of all I will print these um, sales um, revenues into the first column so um, what I have done is I create the uh, sales current year we see uh, just a very simple function it, if this year equal today e equal year today we see 2021 and then the sales and um, I do the another one for previous year. So the difference is if years or the day equal with this year minus one, we see uh, 2021 and then sales. So we have we have two year sales, uh, current years and then the previous year. And then um, to calculate the growth, um, I build what they call the uh, sale current year growth. So just uh, take the summaries, uh, just the sums of the this year sale. Uh, minor to the sum of previous years and then minus one and put it in the percentage so we have the growing percentage right all right okay so let's bring it into the view so let's go into the first column right um, sales uh, current year sales current year sale in right so we have current year sales so you can uh, we can format it uh, put it in the uh, currency if you like okay and um let's bring the uh, growth current year growth 
say I'm currently row into the view. Right? Let's go to the label, put the allow overlapping. Um, this one we can put the formatted percentage. Zero decimal, right? Okay. Now go to the label and um, and uh, do the format a little bit. Right? So let's put it here. Uh, for the percentage, I can uh, format it uh, italic, put it smaller size. Uh, on the sums, I think I can put it a little bit bigger. About if you like. Oh, I need about. Okay, so now I want to print the view uh, with the alignment right hand side here. Okay, so what I can do is let's put it like the uh, one bar, right? And um, um, in the label here, let's look into, not sure, look into here, yeah. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. Okay, all right. So we have um, this is this is the trick in order to align the the number um, the, on the right hand side. Right. Okay. All right. So now it it's um, we have the we had a blue bar here, but don't worry about that one. I will I will tell you how to remove it. Um. Now I want to put the arrow here. Right. Okay. Um, in order to put the arrow, it, I think it, I move it to the ship. So you can see actually there's a ship here, right? Let's print the um, cell growth. Um, this one, what I do in here. So I say, uh, if the sales, uh, if the sales grow, e positive up and then uh, negative it down, right? Okay, so let's print that into the ship. Okay, and then you can change the shape here, right? Down. It's already mounted, so but you can change it if you like. Um, you can use the thin narrow, applied, applied. Okay. Uh, put it aside a little bigger. Here you go. You can change the color. Right? You can print this one into the color. Yep, and then two color here. Uh, you can select it. You see down, you can put it red or orange, up, you can put it green. Okay, make it a little bit bigger, look clearer. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. Um, by, uh, by right click and go to the format, then uh, I think it's uh, something here. If you remove, um, uh, I think you can, uh, you can touch the. Um, You can touch some uh, light off from your view. Yeah, it will look uh, better. Still has some. Still have some. But I still have some here. Let's remove uh, column. Remove it all, huh? On the sheet, let's remove it. Yeah, it look good. It look good, That's right? So it uh, is that. Um, yeah, it is. It it it, it is similar the way we do, right? Um, yeah, actually, let me change the color. Okay, so now you can see is it the way I do, right? So create the uh, the um, create a value and then uh, put uh, two value in a one light and then you can put the arrow here as well in a, and then you can color the arrow, right? Okay, and let's go to the next one, which is um, the um, the max mean uh, value in here, right? So I will let's. Do from the scrap here. Um, 
So first of all, it's again the I print the um, subcategory into the view. Subcategory into the view, right? Put it in the full screen. And here, I want to see the performance of the sales in 12 months. So I put these uh, order date into here and then convert it into the month. All right? So I will bring the sales and then I will I will need to bring the sales light here and then I need to uh, point out uh, where the minimum sale and where the maximum sale. So first of all, it create I create two um, two calculated field. The first one is the I put it the sum of sale, you know, sum of sale, sum of sale, sum of sale, right? sum of sale for the current year. We see this year. So um, I I will print this one into the view. So you can see it, it, it automatically create a line, right? It is sales of, uh, the sales uh, seasonality by 12 months. The, you might ask me why I'd, um, I put the uh, yes and the zero in the front, right? This is just help with the some month we don't have the value. So Tableau will you not know the value there. So uh, the yes and number will help us to uh, put zero in order to create a continuous line, right? If I, let's see, if I remove the yes end, yeah, if I remove yes end, so you can see actually there's some value that uh, disconnected in here, right? So let me back. So you see the, so you can see yes end will help her to match the line continuously, right? Okay, so I will put it. Tina, yes, yeah, okay. So now I want to print the um, minimum value and the, and the maximum value into the view. I create another one, another calculated field called um, if the sum of sales, sum of sales this year uh, equal to the max value. So the, you know the window max uh, will uh, will scan through um, twelve months and then to to uh, to to uh, um, re, uh, to um, uh, point out which one is the maximum value. So if I say if the sum of sale are uh, equal to the max and then uh, just remark it like the max. Otherwise, if the sum of sales is equal to the smallest one, let remark it like the mint. Right? This is for the color, but for the column, for the axis, for the axis, I do this way. So I say if the sum of sale is is the max sale or the sum of sale is the min sales let's remark uh, let mark it in the visual in the worksheet you know in the in the visualization so either they file either they find the maximum sales let put it let calculate the sum uh, the, the total sale or they find the um, minimum sale and then let remark number right so you see how how i how i reflect that in here i will bring it in so you see actually so there uh, one uh, subcategory they will have two points here one is the minimum and one is the maximum right uh, if you want to see easier let put it like, uh, let convert it to this circle right you can circle and then i can make the circle it look a bit bigger it's too big too big yeah? All right. Okay. Um, I think it's a little bit big, smaller. Okay. So every subcategory you will see, um, you will see uh, one 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 minimum level, uh, one minimum point and one maximum point. So I, if I do the two axis, and now you can see uh, the two axis now. Um, I can remove the color. I can bring what I put into the color, right? And then now you can change the color. It's um, max green, uh, mean it red. So get that fine. Synchronize. It look better now. So you see, right? So in, in January uh, 2126, and you can see 2126, only, only, only uh, about this value, but this value is a maximum, so 
9,727, so owner value is smaller than this one. So for each uh, subcategory, you know, on crown months, you can see uh, one month uh, with the smallest one, uh, with the lowest uh, sales, and one month with the highest sales. Uh, this is the point. So let's clear on the um, axis where we don't want to see. Okay, so now we have the charts. Uh, you, you still see some light here. That right click it, right click, go to the format, and then you can remove, um, remove, um, you know, on the light you don't like to see. Right? Okay, so green light, remove it. Remove yellow light, remove it. Reference light, you know, all thing here, just remove it. Okay, and column as well. Still have some light here, so what is that? Maybe this one. You know, header. Yep, here we go. Remove it. Okay, so it's, it's clean now. Uh, touch up this one as well. Okay, so now the the last thing is to print on the on the visualization into uh, the dashboard. So we just create this one, the dashboard. So I print the, f um, the first visualization, second visualization here, and then uh, this one is uh, just, uh, just the, the title. I create this title and I just bring it in. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I hope you uh, you find it useful and. Um, um, for me, it's it, I, find, uh, I found a lot of useful uh, from this, uh, this thing when I do the presentation, you know, want to show the, uh, some indicator of a sale grow uh, up and down. Um, so, um, I will put a link uh, from the previous section together here, uh, just in case you like to look back into that. Uh, if you have any concerns or any questions, feel free to put a comment into my the, uh, channel. Um, uh, thank you very much and have a great day.